Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a tool showcase on a tool I created called Data Surgeon. This tool is used to extract all type of information, emails, phone numbers, credit cards, AWS keys, and more um, from files. So there's a bunch of quick installers down here. Um, it supports Linux, Windows, and Mac. Uh, Termex, Termex works, I got it to compile, it works fine. I just don't have a quick installer yet, so um, uh, yeah, I'll be adding that later. So. Once this tool is installed, you can use DS-H, and this is going to show the help menu. So um, from social to email, these are all the things you can essentially extract from the text. Um, dash F is used to specify a file, so if you don't want to pipe output to it, you can do dash F. You can do dash C. This is going to attempt to clean up um, any of the results returned. So normally when a match is found, it returns the whole line. But if you do dash C, it's going to only return whatever you specify, right? So if you do dash E, it's only going to return that email. Um, dash T for thorough. So what this does is if um, you're, let's say you're going through a CSV, right? You're, you're iterating over a CSV. What the tool is going to normally do is let's say you're searching for emails and hashes. It's going to stop at the first email and say, hey, this line has an email. But let's say you're using dash dash clean because you want to clean up the, you don't want the whole CSV row to be printed. You're going to want to use the dash T option so that um, when you're looping through, it doesn't just stop at the first email. It also goes to um, the hash. So I'm going to be going over a demo of the dash C option and the dash X option. So I'm going to be copying one of the commands from the docs. I'm going to go over this real quick. So in this line, what we're doing is we're making a web request to stack overflow. We're piping the result to DS, and then we're extracting any files that it finds, and then we're gonna clean the output. And then we're gonna pipe that to unique, which is gonna remove any non-unique lines. So I'm gonna remove this clean option, and we're just gonna run it. You can see the whole line was returned, so it returns this, you know, all of this extra HTML that we don't really need. So if we add that um, C option, you can see that it cleans up all of that. If we add um, that dash X that I was talking about earlier, what it's gonna do is it's gonna remove this files. So it's gonna remove any of the identifier strings. So what you're searching for, um, like if, if you're searching for emails, it's gonna re um, remove email address. It's gonna remove IP address if you're searching for IP address. And so it's gonna make the output a lot nicer. So I have a test directory here set up that's roughly around 16 gigabytes. And I'm gonna be going over the dash D option. Dash D is used to display the file name associated with the um, with the content found. So if we actually paste this command I have in the docs, what this command will do is in the current directory it's going to find, and subdirectories, it's going to find all files and then it's going to pipe those files to, um, to DS. It's going to do, um, it's going to clean up the output it's going to display the file that um, the content was found in, and it's going to extract all emails.
The last thing I want to go over is using DS with no arguments. So if you use no arguments, it's going to be going over all of these data types, which is um, significantly slower than using individual queries. So the last one. So what I'm going to do is going to cat dump, and then I'm going to pipe it to DS, and I'm just going to time the operation. So that took around 13 seconds to process, I don't even remember, a 522 megabyte file. So let's go ahead and just use one query and see how long it takes. One second, right? So even if we just add like two more queries, it's significantly faster than, than just using one. So if you ever just want to search for one type of data, just use that one query. It's it's going to be much more efficient. It's going to save a lot more of your time. Um, that's the last thing I really wanted to showcase for this tool. If there's anything that you guys want me to showcase, or if there's any features you want, create a pull request or just comment it in the section, and I will look into creating it. Um, see you guys in the next video.